Well, the pain at the pump is getting even worse. Uh, the average for a gallon of gas in Florida just hit a new record high, climbing five cents to 4.53 a gallon. That is still a few cents cheaper than the national average, but more than a dollar and 65 cents higher than this time last year. The cost of diesel climbing even higher than that, and truckers say they are feeling the pinch. New Six's Catherine Silver takes a closer look at the numbers and how the cost is being passed on to you, the consumer, and when industry experts expect prices to finally start falling. Gas prices are top of mind for truck drivers ahead of this Memorial Day weekend. In December, I used to fill it with about $300. Now it's it's 450. Fred Ami says the cost of filling up his tank is forcing him to make difficult choices while trying to support his family. You have to make sacrifices. I mean, uh, you have to deny yourself some stuff in order to survive. A gallon of diesel will cost you more than $5 in every single state right now, according to Gas Buddy. Well, we've never seen diesel prices so high nationally. Patrick DeHaan is the head of petroleum analysis. We're probably not going to see meaningful improvement until that Russian oil starts flowing to the market. The Biden administration is now considering tapping into a rare reserve to alleviate pain at the pump. Keep in mind that reserve is only a million barrels. Uh, but that's still better than nothing. So we'll have to see what the president's move is. DeHaan says any solution will likely be short term. We are in kind of a global energy crunch right now. Unless something is taken care of, I mean, something is done, it's going to affect this industry. With little relief in sight, Florida's Trucking Association says higher shipping costs will be passed on to consumers. Trucking is vital to our daily lives. Everything we bring, eat, touch, wear, drive, drive on is brought to you by a truck. Gas Buddy predicts the price of unleaded will stay above $4 a gallon through the summer and possibly spike even higher. Analysts say drivers need to be patient. In Orange County, I'm Catherine Silver getting results. News 6.